Hello students, welcome back to Programming in C Language. Myself, Srikant. We are discussing about program fundamentals. In the previous video session, I discussed in detail about what is software, need of softwares, types of softwares and hardware and also we discussed in detail about motherboard. So in this session, we try to discuss in detail about various different types of softwares with users and related examples. Softwares basically categorized by two types, system softwares, another one is called application software. In this session, we try to discuss in detail about system softwares like operating systems and utility softwares in detail. And remaining language translators on system softwares like pre-written application softwares, customized application softwares, general purpose application softwares, special purpose application softwares we'll discuss in the next coming sessions, okay? See, what is system software? See, it is used for what? Controlling the internal operations of the computer. System software is the software used for controlling the internal operations of the computer. The main features of the system software are it acts as an interface between the user and the computer. It makes the operations of a computer system more effective and efficient. See, it controls all the processing activities and make sure that the resource and the power of the computers are used in what? Most efficient manner. It checks the availability of different devices, scan input devices for input and sends output to the output to devices. Okay, so it's going to be scan what? Input to devices for input and sends output to what? Output to devices. See, it converts the instructions from what? User understandable language to what? Computer understandable language and vice versa. Okay, these systems out there keeps track of utilization of CPU time and memory by different running application. The computer manufacturers usually provides what system software. The various types of computer require different types of system software programs like operating systems, utility softwares and language translators. See these system softwares, best examples like what operating systems like Mac operating system, GNU Linux, Android and Microsoft Windows operating system and also performs computational science softwares, game engines, industrial automation, and software as a service applications, okay? It also performs internally BIOS, boot program, assemblers, device drivers, and so on. So these are all comes under what? System softwares. Majorly it consists three different types like operating system and utility softwares. So we try to discuss in detail here operating system and utility softwares. Okay. So what is system software? It is used for what? Controlling the internal operations of the computer. Simply you can remember it is used for what? System purpose. Those softwares are called system softwares. Okay. The first type of system so software is called operating systems. See, I hope you're all familiar about this word, right? Operating systems. See, we are discussed in detail about operating system. See, operating system is nothing but what? Is an important component of what? Computer system. It can be defined as a set of programs that control how the system works. It is the most important program that runs on a computer. It is considered the backbone of a computer. It managing both the software and a hardware resources. We discussed in detail, right? Simply you can remember what is operating system. Operating system, it provides an interface between what? User and a hardware of what? Computer system. So it's going to be managing what? Both the softwares and a hardware resources. So this is an example like user, here end users, who is interacting with the machines. Those are all comes under end users. They want to communicate with these hardware components must require here what system software called operating system operating system enables several internal functionalities like process management 
uh, and uh, memory management input output management file management establishment of our priority systems like assignment of software programs automatic installations error handling like that it going to be maintain several internal management about system related process managements okay about operating system it enables what inbuilt applications and also it allows to what user defined applications in the form of what application softwares simply you can remember operating system is nothing but it manages both the software and the hardware resources it is a set of programs that controls how the system should functioning how the system should work it provides an interface between what user and hardware of the computer system so I explain in detail about operating system different types of operating systems in the previous video session if you miss that video session kindly go through that in detail about operating system topics i already explained in the previous video session so coming to history the first operating system used for what real work was gm n n n a a i o produced in what 1956 by general motors research division for its ibm 704 machines like os 360 was used on most ibm mainframe computers in the 1966 it including what computers used by the apollo program like pc dos was an early personal computer operating system command line interfaces right in previous video session we discussed dos commands internal external dos commands with the practical executions right some examples like microsoft windows disk operating system unix operating system like Win windows 1 2 3 like 9, 9 up to 9 versions 98 xp vista 7 8 10 Linux based operating system Mac operating system Android iOS operating system these are all what various operating systems are available in the market always remember without operating system user cannot interact with this hardware of the computers must to be required a software that to be system software one of the system software is called operating system so it behaves like what backbone of what computer environment okay so this is about operating system the second system software is called utility software so what is this utility software see these utility softwares is the set of programs provide to ensure the proper functioning of the computer so generally utility software comes with what some application softwares or with what system softwares it consists both application softwares as well as what system softwares so generally these utility softwares are used for what maintaining analysis optimizing and configuring applications see there are several types of utility programs that are commonly used some utility programs allow you to back up the files some protect your computer from virus attacks and some recover the information arised accidentally in other words like we can say that utility software performs what like uh, several jobs in what computer some examples like text pads like notepad word pad some calculator applications paint antivirus programs okay these are all were suitable examples of what utility softwares so coming to the antivirus see everyone is familiar about this word right virus antivirus you heard about these words see virus is nothing but what vital you mean know or information resource under sees sees what is a malicious program or piece of code that is loaded onto your computer without your knowledge and runs against your wishes so in the previous session explained right so once virus is attacked our computer our virus program is installed in our pro in our computer so computer performance is going to be what degrades okay it takes more longer to load than normal it is very slower than what normal it stops responding or freezes what very frequently it crashes and restarts every few minutes okay it does not run as usual generally how computer functioning it won't do like that okay see these are all what several problems occurred for what virus see generally what are the different types of viruses are there like resident virus a type of virus that infects the whole memory area of the ram is called as what resident virus so it going to be infects what main memory called ram random access memory 
some other virus like a boot virus see boot virus is the type of virus that is spread the virus in the bootable part of the hard drive so it going to be damages what like the bootable related files and informations okay some viruses like direct action viruses the main purpose of these virus is to what replicate and take action when it is executed like uh, when a specific condition is met the virus will go into action and infect the files in the directory or folder see that it is in a in a directories that are specified in the auto execute dot batch file okay it is in the form of what auto execute dot batch file path see this batch file is always located in the root directory of the hard disk and carries out what certain operations when the computer is what booted see this type of viruses are called direct action viruses some viruses like uh, overwrite viruses are there see these virus uh, is characterized by the fact that it uh, deletes the information contained in the files that it infects what rendering them partially or totally useless once they have been infected the only way to clean a file infected by an overwrite virus is uh, to delete the file completely so it means what losing the it loses the original content see once this overwrite virus is going to be attacked it going to be damage as what complete that file and content information the only solution you need to delete the entire directory or file see due to that the original data is going to be what lost okay such type of virus is called overwrite viruses some viruses like directory virus see this directory viruses what changes the path that indicates the location of a file by executing a a program file with the extension like generally it attacks what dot exe or dot com files see which has been infected by a virus you are unknowingly running the virus program while the original file and program have been previously moved by the virus okay see once it is infected it becomes what impossible to locate the original files so this type of viruses are called what directory virus some viruses like uh, file infectors see this type of virus infects what programs or executable files like file with extension what dot exe or dot com extensions see when one of these program is run directly or indirectly the virus is activated producing the damaging effects it is programmed to carry out the majority of existing viruses belonging to this category and can be classified depending on the action that they carry out okay it going to be damage as what files especially what dot exe files and dot com extension files these type of files are called file infectors what we call it is file infectors some viruses like fat viruses are there see the file allocation table fat means we discussed yesterday right file allocation table or fat is a vital part of the normal functioning of the computer this type of virus attacks can be especially dangerous by preventing access to certain section of the disk where important files are stored damage caused can result in information losses what from individual files or even entire directories these type of files are called fat viruses some viruses like worms a worm is a program very similar to a virus it has the ability to self replicate and can lead to what negative effects on your system and most importantly they are detected and eliminated by what anti viruses okay how to eliminate how to eliminate these viruses using some anti virus okay some viruses like uh, uh, trojans or trojan horses see these virus is what malicious software program that hides inside other programs it enters a computer hidden inside a legal or valid program like uh, such as a screen saver 
then it puts code into the operating system that enables a hacker to access the infected computer see these torsion horses do not usually spread by themselves they are spreaded by what viruses worms or other downloaded softwares okay so these are all called torsion related uh, viruses another called spyware see spyware can install on your computer without your knowledge these programs can change your computer's configuration or collect advertising data and personal information this spyware can track internet search habits and can also re redirect your web browser to a different websites than you intend to go to see so these these are all what various types of viruses okay see how to avoid these viruses how to stop these viruses okay using antivirus like uh, some familiar antivirus is available in the market like bit defender antivirus plus norton antivirus plus avira antivirus pro f secure antivirus caspersky antivirus so on like different types of antiviruses using these antiviruses we can stop and we can block these viruses without entering into our systems okay some file management tools like windows explorer in windows operating system google desktop directory opus double commanders these are all what various file management tools best examples of what utility software sir like some examples like compression tools like rar files right okay zip files normally we can call winrar pzip the unarchivers files these are all called compression tools like disk cleanups disk defragmenters backups these are all several examples of what utility softwares also become a system software okay so generally it categorized like system utilities storage device management utilities file management utilities and miscellaneous utilities okay we discuss one by one we go with the first one called system utilities see just only we discussed antivirus utilities scan for computer viruses and block or remove them see using these antiviruses we can able to block or remove what the virus infected our directories drives or any kind of files okay without making more damage of our or corrupt of files and directories in our computer system clipboard managers expand the clipboard functionality of an operating system computer access control software grants grants means what giving permissions or denies denies means what cancelling the permissions request for what access to system resources means here it provides what security levels of system utilities like computer access controls some debuggers here bug is nothing but what errors debug means what resolving rectifying and errors okay typically permit the examination and modification of data and program instructions in memory and on disk okay debuggers next diagnostic programs it determines and reports the operational status of computer hardware and software see memory testers are best examples of what diagnostic pro programs network utilities so it analyzes the computer's network connectivity configuring network settings checks data transfer or log events that is going to be checked by what network utilities completely these uh, utilities are help, helpful for what network related operations package managers are used to what configure install or keep up to date other softwares on a computers registry cleaners see clean and optimize the windows registry by removing old registry keys that are no longer in use see some registers are there but we are not using that is not longer in use then clean up those registries without getting burden of what memory here internally system utilities uh, one of the registry cleaners to do such kind of operations okay system monitors so it going to be monitor what resources and performance in a computer system system profilers it provides what detailed information about installed software and hardware see these are all what various system utilities working on what computer okay 
next type of utility is called storage device management utilities okay name only clearly telling that it is going to be manages what storage devices see we go with one by one backup software it makes what copies of all information stored on a disk and restores either the entire disk disk cloning cloning means what copying in an event of what disk failure or selected files that are accidentally deleted or corrupted and deletion utilities are sometimes more convenient see always remember not only these system related utilities like backup software so whenever you are developing any programs or applications or projects okay make it out one backup because in case of any viruses or any accidental deletions there your original file project is be safe on one drive okay always remember you need to take periodical backups of the particular applications and programs next so internally these uh, system utility one of the system utility utility called storage device management utility it takes what back up the software sir next uh, disk checker sir it is scans an operating hard drive and check for what logical file system or physical errors disk compression sir it utilities transparently compress or uncompress the content of a disk it increasing the capacity of the disk disk defragmenters it detects what computer files whose contents are scattered across several locations on the hard disk and collect the fragments into one contiguous area okay see this generally where it is going to be used it is used in what secondary storage devices disk formatters it prepare a data storage device such as a hard disk solid state drive floppy disk or usb flash drives for initial use see these are often used to permanently erase an entire device see already we discussed right all these secondary storage devices in the previous video session if you missed it kindly go through previous video session there i explain in detail about secondary storage devices like hard disk solid state drives floppy disk usb flash drives and so on right next disk partition editors divide an individual drive into what multiple logical drives each with its own file system which can be mounted by the operating system and treated as what individual drive okay the partitions also takes place internally disk space analyzers okay it provides a visualization of disk space usage by getting the size for each folder including what subfolders files drives is showing the distribution of the used space say we are uh, say i shown you right in my hard disk is going to be partitioned into three drives like c drive d drive and e drive like that okay see i i am going to be creating directories i created projects files on storing in what some different drives i want to know how much is going to be used how much it is not used in the diagrammatical manner this disk space analyzes showing the complete information how much space is going to be used how much space is empty how much is going to be organized not organized see like that any kind of issues disk, disk checkers are responsible this comparisons are responsible to do system related utilities especially what storage device management utilities another called tape initializers okay it writes a label to a magnetic tape or other magnetic medium initializers for what tape formatted the tape into what blocks see these are all utilities are used for what storage device management okay even we are using some external storages okay how who should maintain that storages some utilities are required internally so these are all the utilities are managing what storage devices okay this is also utilities next file management utilities observe some archivers output a stream or a single file when provided with a directory or set of files this archive source may included include comparison and encryption capabilities okay encryption means what just remember here coding decryption means what decoding okay encrypting means what it is going to be coded to that file decryption means what decoded some archive utilities have a separate unarchive utilities for the reverse operation one nearly universal type of archive files format is a zip files see generally these zip files why we go why we using this zip files like rar winrar files to 
combine or club multiple files as a single file okay in so in future you are developed one project then you cannot give that project as directly to the client right you are going to be rare rare that files means we are going to zip that files all directories sub directories files different types of files all are going to be make it out one single file that is called archive files or zip files okay cryptographic see it utilities encrypt and decrypt streams and files just only i told right encryption and decryption technique is done by what cryptographic data comparison these utilities outputs a shorter stream or a smaller file when provided with a stream or file data conversion these utilities transfer data from a source file to what some other format such as from a text file to what pdf document like conversions from one format to what another format these data conversions will use data recovery utilities are used to re rescue good data from what corrupted files see sometimes uh, the data the file is going to be damaged okay then i want to get back some data from that file that time we go with what recovery data recovery techniques using this data recovery techniques we can get back some data uh, on that corrupted files or damaged files okay data synchronization these utilities establishes what consistency among data from a source to a target data storage and vice versa these are all several branches of the types of utilities like file synchronization and revision control like file synchronization utilities maintain what consistency between two sources okay source means one address source where where you are going to be performing operation target means what destination where you need to perform where you are going to be sending that file source to destination like that or source to target they may be used to create what redundancy redundancy here is nothing but what duplications or backup copies but are also used to help what users carry their digital music photos and videos in their mobile devices revision control utilities can recreate a coherent structure where multiple users simultaneously modify the same file okay disk cleaners these find files that are unnecessary to computer operations or take up considerable amount of space file compression technique sometimes like larger file is there there is a space issues space problem that time we go with what file comparison okay these utilities provides a stand alone capability to detect difference between the files file managers it provides a convenient method of performing routine data management email recovery and management tasks such as deleting renaming cataloging uncataloging moving copying merging setting right protection status setting file access permissions generating and modifying folders and data sets so see these are all utilities are performing what files or file management performing what file related operations this is a file managers are responsible to perform all these file related operations this is also considered what utilities file management utilities the last one called miscellaneous utilities like data generators creates a file of test data according to what specified pattern trends different patterns like uh, hexa editors like directly modify the text or data of a file without re regard to file format these files can be data or programs html check checkers here html is nothing but what hyper text markup language generally used to develop what front end applications web pages okay so we'll discuss in the web technologies in detail about what is html and so on here html checkers validate what html code and what check links installation or setup see these utilities are used to initialize or configure what programs usually applications programs for use in specific computer environment see there are also uninstallers okay next uh, patching these utilities perform alterations of files especially object programs when program source is what unavailable screen savers it prevent uh, like uh, a fastboard burn in on crt cathode ray tubes there we discussed right and plasma computer monitors there this screen savers are going to be used okay prevent what like uh, it going to be saves screen savers 
Next, next sort or merge programs. So arranging records, lines of a file into a specified sequence, particular sequence, okay, particular ordered. Standalone macro recorders. It permits use of our keyboard macros in programs that do not natively support such a features. So these are all what miscellaneous utilities. Okay. So in this session, we discussed in detail about uh, software that to be what different types of software like system software here I explain in detail about what is operating system various utility software see here I divided the uh, system software in two parts one is language translators we'll discuss in the next video session why because it is very important and very useful for what the programming application developments for their sake I partitioned into what another video session fine the later session will discuss application software. Don't worry. I hope you are clear about the previous video sessions about software. In this video session, we discussed in detail about like system software, like system software. What is system software? What are the suitable examples, types, and what is operating system, history, examples, and functionalities, utility software, and virus. Especially, we discussed in detail about virus, antiviruses, and some system utilities, okay? Like system utilities, storage device management utilities, file management utilities, and miscellaneous utilities, okay? So, that's it for the today's session. We discussed in detail about system software. That to be what? Operating systems and utility software in detail with suitable examples, okay? Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you all.